you guys so we are back with another video and today's video is going to be what I use to edit my videos what I use to edit my pictures what I use to edit my thumbnails and everything like that so if you're interested in watching this please stay tuned if you haven't already subscribed please go down hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that way you don't miss any future videos and if you're a return subscriber Thank you for coming back, thank you for the support, and thank you for all the feedback. I've actually been getting a lot of feedback lately, and I appreciate all of it. And I want to say thank you a lot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Alright, so I am screen recording, so you are going to see my screen pop up somewhere. Somewhere. You'll see my screen pop up. I am screen recording, so that way you guys can personally see what I use and how I kind of organize my stuff together so so far this is my screen this is my main screen I do organize all of my apps into folders I don't like the cluster I don't like I'm just I'm an organized person when it comes to my phone so first app or first folder we're actually gonna go into is the video folder um, now this folder is where I keep my YouTube stuff where I keep my recording stuff so the first one is my YouTube studio which if you're in YouTube then you know that's where you see all your views your subscribers everything like that um, the main YouTube app so that's where my channel personally is at and then my camera app um, for those of you who do know I am still recording on my phone so that is what I am using for my recording and everything and it's just easier to have it right here so that way I know where it's at um, my next folder is going to be the AD family vlog which this folder is what I use to uh, record what I or what I used to um, edit on the apps that I use so the first one is going to be iMovie I'm going to click into it if you guys want a full description of uh, what I use um, you know the apps for and how I use the apps please leave it in the comments below and I'll do a video on how to use these apps and how to make different things from these apps so the first one of course is iMovie it does come on all iPhones I think I don't know if it's on like all the newer iPhones or if it comes on all iPhones I'm not a hundred percent sure but iMovie is only an iPhone um, app so this is what I was using at the beginning when I did first start my videos this is what I was using to create my videos so you go in there push the plus sign hit the movie sign and you'll start from there um, next one is Kin Master. This is what I am currently using to edit my videos. And again, if you want a detailed video on how to use these apps and to edit, um, please comment and I will do the video for you guys. So this one is basically, um, you know, like I said, what I use to edit. Uh, there is a monthly subscription on this app if you want to unlock all of the features. It is a free app. Um, initially it is a free app yes but if you do want to unlock all of the features and all the benefits it has um, it is a monthly subscription app and I will go ahead and leave that uh, monthly um, amount in the details below so that way you guys can look at it if you want um, but again it is a free app so you don't have to pay I do pay yes because I like the features and I like um, everything that you can do once you pay to use it so there's that and then the next one I use is uh, Fonto. Fonto is what I use, and I, I probably am pronouncing it wrong, Fon Fonto, Fonto. I don't know um, but I do use this app to make all of my thumbnails I use this app to make my banner um, I did use this app to kind of edit some pictures so if you want the description on how to use this app for your thumbnails because you can't just go in and use a basic picture for a thumbnail you do have to use different sizes different measurements as well as the banner you have to use different sizes different measurements so again if you want a detailed video on how to use that app please leave it in the comments below uh, next one is Puffin. Puffin is the app that I use to drag all of my YouTube uh, music into my videos. So, um, because it, when you do YouTube videos, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but you do have to use um, songs that aren't copyright. So, you have to, you know, go through the process of finding a good song that doesn't have, um, you know, copyright. So, that way you don't get flagged on your video. So, this app is what I use for that. Again, if you want a description um, or details on how I use this app and I drag everything over, please leave it in the comments below and I'll go ahead and make that uh, the next one is eraser um, now the eraser app I don't use as much anymore um, I did use it towards the beginning because I wasn't really clear on how to use other apps but this one is you choose a picture from your photo album and you take the eraser and you erase your background um, it is a manual one um, so you have to go through and you have to manually erase what you want out of the background which I 
found that it was a little hard um, because, you know, then you're stuck trying to, you know, put stuff back into the picture that you accidentally erased. So that one is a little harder um, that I do have. But then Photo Wonder is an app that I use to flip pictures. Um, now, when I say flip pictures, I mean, if my face is over on this side, I use this app to flip it over on this side. Um, so that way I can add more details on this side. So that is the app that I use to flip pictures. Um, Facetune 2 uh, is an app that also is an in-app purchase. I do not personally pay for this app uh, as of right now because I do get the basic features, but this one is to um, blur my background. This picture I do have already pop up and I'll show you guys how I do it. Um, I hit the defocus, I hit auto, and I make it, you know, I turn it up. And then if you see the background, if you see um, that it disappears a little bit, it's kind of a defocusing, it's defocusing my background so it makes it kind of blurry. So that is the app that I use to defocus my backgrounds. Now, Pixar is the app that I use to actually go in and take out my background completely. Um, now, previously I told you about Eraser. That's what I was using when I first started. It is a little harder because you have to manually go in and do it. Um, but Pixar will actually do it um, themselves. I'm gonna show you guys an example. I'm gonna go into my photos. I'm gonna choose a picture and I'm going to erase the background. Um, you're gonna hit cut out the profile it's going to give you the red mark and then it's going to delete the background again full description on how to use this app leave it in the comments below and i'll let you guys know last but not least is the motion portrait now this app i don't normally use um it is a fun app that i did download that i noticed some people were using to create their intro to their videos um so this app kind of helps create an intro I do currently already have an intro that I use, so I don't usually use this app um, at all, but I did play around with it. It does really do um, a good job at creating like a cartoon effect to your intros, so if you're interested in that, um, that's something that you could establish. So there you have it, you guys. That is everything that I am currently using on my phone to edit my videos, to edit my thumbnails, to edit my backgrounds, everything. Again, if you want a full description of everything and how I use it and what I specifically use it for and the measurements for a thumbnail please leave it in the comments below and I will do a video for you guys for that you guys so that wraps it up uh, I do definitely want to say thank you again to everybody who is my new subscribers I appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting um, please leave a comment and, and, and give me any thing that you want to see in my videos is there anything interesting you think I should do uh, if you're new here, I have three boys, so they are usually everywhere around this video, but my mom actually just recently came and picked them up so she can spend some time with them, so they just left. And um, again, if you guys want to see any content, please comment below and I'll do it for you. I do want definitely want to thank you guys for watching the video. You guys have a great night and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!